Hi, this is Ashlyn with Bellevue Avenue. I'm going to show you how to use our sparkler overlays. All right, so they're super easy to use. All you have to do is go to File, Place, and then you'll open your sparkler folder. And I'm just gonna build out a pretty image for you. So let's go ahead and use number 48 for the swirl. And we're going to click the check mark to place it and then change the blend mode to screen. I'm going to go ahead and flip this swirl. So edit, transform, flip horizontal. And I think that frames her a little bit better. I'm gonna also stretch it this way just a little bit. Okay, so I like how it is now, but I wanna add a little bit more pizzazz. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some of the foreground blurred sparklers to kind of round this out and frame her. So let's go to File, Place. And I'm gonna start selecting and placing several of these. Okay, so I like how this added a lot more light and sparkles around her. And one last thing you can do, and you can use this if you don't have a sparkler actually going, you can create a tiny little sparkler off the stick, or you can enhance what's already there. So that's what we're gonna do. So go to File Place, and I'm going to use 64. And this one's a little bit blurred, so it will give it just kind of an extra little sparkle, sparkle right there. If you wanted something with more detail, you would use one of these sparklers. So let's try one of those out. And there you go. So that is how to use our sparkler overlays. There are a ton of different options in the set, including symbol sparklers, foreground sparklers, swirls, squares, triangles, all sorts of shapes that you can play with and explore to make your images more exciting or enhance any sparkler images you may already have. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.